What is up, beautiful people? It is your girl, Nicole Jo, aka Nicole Martinez, aka Shani Martinez. Whatever you've seen me on YouTube as, it is your girl. I am back with another video. I have to take a break from social media. Social media is getting very overwhelming and we are living in some difficult times right now. So during this time, I encourage everybody to stay prayed up, stay in the word of God. Despite what's going on around you, God is still in control. Even if it doesn't seem like he is, he is. Um, so anyways, I decided to take a break. This is kind of a different video for me. I decided to take a break from tutorials and things of that nature to just research brands that actually like people of color. So you guys, I will be back with different brands and try to, and I'm going to try to focus more on black owned brands as well. So you guys will see a lot of that content hit my channel. But until then, I am doing a iced coffee routine that I pretty much do every morning. So <laughs> you guys don't need that many ingredients. It is literally five minutes and you're on your way to feeling like you just walked out of Starbucks. So you're going to need some type of bowl. You're going to need a whisk. You're going to need two teaspoon measures. You're going to need any flavor, any type of sweetener, almond milk or coconut milk, or if you like real milk, I just chose to use almond milk. And then you guys are gonna need ice, hot water, and sugar. So starting off this recipe, I am going to take two teaspoons of the instant coffee. Sorry if I didn't mention, but you do need instant coffee as well. So. I'm gonna take two teaspoons of instant coffee. You can get any brand, does not matter. Then I'm gonna take two teaspoons of sugar. And then off camera, you're gonna see me get two teaspoons of hot water. And I repeat, get hot water. Do not get lukewarm, do not get cold, get hot water. So with that, once I get that mixture together, it will start to look a little darker brown once the water hits the instant coffee, and then I'm going to whisk. I whisk for about a few minutes. Now this part depends on how you want your coffee layer to look. Some people like theirs to look airy, some people like theirs to look a little more thicker, some people like it to look watery. This is just depending on how you feel like whisking this up. I'm more of a thicker consistency. I don't really care for the airy consistency, but you will know the coffee is done once you go ahead and mix it up and it starts to turn a light brown color. I don't know if the color is gonna capture on my camera, but it is. It's supposed to be light brown, like a caramel color brown. Anyway. After you're done whisking that up then you're gonna add ice to your cup I did that off camera then you're going to follow up by putting almond milk I'm pretty much gonna fill up the whole cup almost to the brim of it just leaving a little bit of room for my sweetener well my flavoring and my coffee mix on the top so then I'm gonna follow up with my favorite coffee mix I just picked the Starbucks vanilla and caramel coffee Flavoring. I love those they taste great to me so that's the flavoring I chose 
and it kind of reminds me of my own version of Starbucks. Anyways, so I add about two teaspoons. <laughs> you can kind of see me playing with it on the camera. I do it for taste. It ends up coming out to being a one teaspoon of caramel and one teaspoon of vanilla. Then I go ahead and mix that together. Then the lastly, I will scoop on the ice, well the scoop on the coffee topping and I will mix that to my liking. This is a very, very easy, quick coffee fill, especially since we're all in quarantine. People don't wanna really go out and a lot of people are still working from home. So you can have Starbucks right at your house with these simple ingredients and it tastes amazing. But until next time y'all, bye.